This is Real News Media TV, coverage you can trust. Please like, share, subscribe, and hit the notification bell. Select all for daily news updates. Good evening, my Real News Media TV family. Welcome back to the channel for another news update for August 3, 2023. And in the news this evening, police check in cemeteries after discovery of eight skulls. The Trelawney police are now making checks with local cemeteries regarding possible unauthorized exhumations after what appears to be eight charred human skulls were discovered in a bushy area of Coral Springs in the parish on Tuesday. Police in the parish discovered the remains about 6.15 p.m. Acting Assistant Commissioner of Police in charge of Era 1, Vernon Ellis, told the news. He said it appeared that the skulls were dumped and burnt at the location. The area is an illegal dumping site for garbage. Crime scene investigators removed the skulls and they were later handed over to a governmental contracted funeral home pending examination and further investigations. Ellis said there were no other remains, no clothing, or anything to suggest that, that the skulls were not dumped at the location. We are conducting searches of local cemeteries in the area to see if there were any unauthorized exhumation in and around the Trelawney, he noted. Rohan James loses injunction against the interdiction. A judge has denied the chairman of the Jamaica Police Federation, Corporal Rohan James's injunction to stay his interdiction by the police high command following remarks he made last month at a funeral service for a slain cop. Justice Carolyn Tai handed down her ruling Thursday morning. Last Wednesday, James was notified that following a probe into the remarks, Police Commissioner Major General Anthony Anderson had directed that disciplinary action be taken against him at a court of inquiry and therefore he was being interdicted from duty with immediate effect at three quarters of his salary. Speaking at the thanksgiving service for the life of slain constable Damien Blair at the Old Harbour New Testament Church of God in St. Catherine on July 15, James reportedly chided the police high command for allegedly failing to have overtime payments made to rank and file police personnel despite the government approving such a system to calculate and make the payments. James is being accused of conduct contrary to the discipline, good order and the guidance of the force and is facing four charges related to the remarks, including being disrespectful to seniors in rank and communicating to the public certain sensitive issues within the JCF without a permission from the commissioner. He faces being kicked out of the force for his actions. Award-winning chef Dennis McIntosh has died. Chef Dennis McIntosh, who led kitchens at several of the world's leading hotels in a career that spanned more than three decades, has died. McIntosh passed Thursday morning at the St. Anne's Bay Hospital with his wife Bev by his side. He had been ailing for some time. The recipient of the prestigious Chairman's Award at the 2019 staging of the Jamaica Observer Table Talk Food Awards, McIntosh was a well-respected culinarian who used every opportunity from Siboney to Boscobel, Moon Palace and the Rich Carlton to lift the next generation of aspiring chefs. The Jamaican-born, British-trained Macintosh's menu were infused with love of country and passion for food. The earliest sign of his culinary greatness was a pie-making contest at primary school. He advanced his skills at the Henley College of Further Education in the UK before setting up on a culinary path that took him across the world, including Germany, England, the United States, and Bermuda. For over two decades, McIntosh was president and the team coach of the Culinary Federation of Jamaica, where he championed the development of local cooks and the chefs. Former PSOJ president says a call for Golden to apologize for Isat Buchanan's comments unnecessary. There are differing views between a former head of the private sector organization of Jamaica and the current president on the call for opposition leader Mark Golding to apologize for comments made by attorney Isaac Buchanan about director of public prosecutions Paula Llewellyn. PSOJ President Mitri Siaga on Wednesday said that the PNP president should apologize for the unsavory comment made by Mr. Buchanan, who has since resigned as chairman of the PNP's Human Rights Commission. Mr. Buchanan issued an apology on Tuesday, but Mr. Siaga said Mr. Golding should also apologize, arguing that the matter has been poorly handled by the PNP president. 
On the other hand, former PSOJ President Howard Mitchell believes that the call for Mr. Golding to apologize for the comment is irrelevant. As far as calling on the leadership, the leader to apologize for the behavior of one particular misguided, mentally aberrant young person, I think that, personally, I think that is unnecessary. But I, every time we come to this, these crises, what goes through my head is Ernest Smith's song, that while we are fighting each other for the power and the glory, Jack Kingdom going to waste. We are going on about these things. We are, we are, we are making much of it. We are not doing anything to correct it. And in the meantime, we are faced with tremendous challenges that we are ignoring. While we are talking about who said what and who should say what, instead of addressing the problem of indiscipline, indecency, corruption, bad behavior generally at the highest level, we pass laws that have no teeth, we have removed the political ombudsman from where he or she was, we put it to the Electoral Affairs Commission and we do nothing about implementing it. That to me is hypocrisy. There are games being played on both sides and personally, I am at the point where I am saying a plague on everybody's house. We are destroying our country. Police Federation wants records of overtime claims made public. The Jamaica Police Federation has called for the records of overtime claims for its chairman and the members of the Central Committee to be made public. Corporal Arlene McBean, General Secretary of the organization, says that the members are on call 24 hours per day and have never placed on any form the duties performed. Corporal McBean says that the long hours worked by the Central Committee have never been the subject of discussion. She says that the report that the members have falsified their overtime claims is to distract her from the real issues. Corporal McBean says that the Federation will be taking legal action. PNP calls for JCF to probe a smear campaign against the Police Federation chairman. The People's National Party is calling for the Police High Command to investigate the leaking of information purportedly from the personnel files of embattled chairman of the Police Federation, Corporal Rohan James. Spokesman on National Security Peter Bontin says that there is a smear campaign against the Corporal James and the members of the Police Federation's Central Committee. Mr. Bontin believes it is linked to the interdiction of Corporal James for his comments about overtime pay at a funeral last month. According to Mr. Bontin, over a 24-hour period, two separate stories with false and defamatory allegations have been leaked to news outlets aimed at tarnishing the reputation of the Federation's leadership. He said the commissioner must make it clear that the High Command has no involvement in the leaking of the information and does not support it. Either they distance themselves from this information and say it is not true, and if it is, and if it does come from their personal files, then there must be an investigation into how this information has been leaked, or else every member of the rank and file will feel if there is some disagreement or dispute, their personal file is going to be used in a public misinformation campaign. Mm -hmm. That is not acceptable. That's absolute rubbish. That's absolute rubbish. And as I said, it is a new law for whoever is leaking that information and is bringing the organization into disrepute. You don't use people's personal files that way. That is something highly confidential in any organization, much less the Jamaica Constabulary Force. The supposedly leaked information suggests that, that the Police Federation chairman campaigned on behalf of the PNP during the 2011 general elections. It was also reported that the JCF's Workforce Management Solution System uncovered anomalies that some members of the Federation's Central Committee have claimed for 200 hours of overtime per month for reasons such as attending funerals. With regards to the 2011 election campaign claim, Mr. Bontin said if Corporal James did campaign on behalf of the PNP, it would have been dealt with since he is still a member of the police force. He also declared that the allegation that some members of the Police Federation's Central Committee falsified their overtime claims is not true. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe and hit the notification bell. Select all for daily news updates.